and welcome to a quick start guide on the Track and Trace application. This training is designed to take you quickly through setting up your account. Once you're set up, we recommend listening to our basic training overview or attending one of our webinars to make sure you're up to speed on all the GeoForce features. To reach the website, please go to www.geoforce.com. On the main page, on the top right-hand corner, you will see an option to log in. Click this button. You will be prompted to enter your username and password. Your username is generally your email address, and your password is sent to you via your email when your username is created. If you're having any issues logging in, please reach out to GeoForce Help Desk, then select Login. The first screen you will see is the map screen. If you've begun installations and your devices are reporting, you will see map pins. Each pin corresponds to your asset in the field. The default name for these assets is the serial number on the device, but that is easy to change. Click More Details. From this page, click the Edit tab. You will then be able to change the asset name and ID to something your organization can recognize in the field. On the right-hand side, select the asset type that best fits what your device is installed on, then click Save. Keep track of your assets on both the map and list views. The location data will use Google to list an address, and additionally, you can add geofenced areas with your own location data on the Setup tab. To add more users, click into the Setup tab. Select New User on the right, enter the user's first name and last name, and an email address. You can also enter a phone number for the user if you wish. Make sure to keep the box checked to send a welcome email, as this will send the user their password via their email address. Finally, you can select a user level type. This will allow the user to have varying levels of permissions within the application. For more information about what each permission level is able to do, please reference the GeoForce Help site. When you're finished, click Save Changes. To change your own password, you can click on your username and select Change Password in the top right-hand corner. This will allow you to change the password from what was sent to you. Finally, if one of the users in your account forgets their password, you can click on their username and select Reset Password. This will send them an email with a new password. The GeoForce application can run reports, set up notifications, help you keep track of your vehicles, drivers, maintenance, and the list of features keeps growing all the time. Please check out our full tutorial video to learn more about how GeoForce can help you run your business.